everyone. Welcome to the Sunday Fun Day Show. My name's Parker. And I'm Livy. Woo! Livy, how are you doing? We haven't seen each other in a while. How, how's it going? Good. It's been a really chill week, just hammocking and hanging out. Wow. But what are you, how's your week been? It's awesome. I'm super excited because this week I get to go fishing. Do you yes, like fishing? I love fishing. It's super fun. I'm really excited about reeling some big, huge fish this week. So what kind of fish do you go fishing for? Oh, all kinds. All kinds. Like, um, nothing specific, but... I, well, you see, I don't really know what kind of fish we're fishing for, but it's because there's an expert going with me. Oh, so who, who are you going with? Oh, my Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe? Oh yeah. my goodness, we should bring Uncle Joe on set sometime and have him tell us about fishing. Well, maybe. I don't know oh. if he's that smart about it. But but, but, but maybe him, he knows more than me, so who knows, you know? Yeah, so when are you supposed to do that? Are you going with him, like, today, or...? Oh, yeah, actually, it's that time right now. See you later. Wait, you're going right now? Yeah. Parker, what about... Sorry. So you see that cast right there? I, that was a beauty. See what I did now? I went out there and saw there was a floating log and I thought to myself, there's probably some fish up, up, up underneath it. Do you see them out there? Uncle, Hang on a minute uh, now. My hair got a little itch going on up here. Okay. Oh, did you see that fish? No, you didn't. You Uncle weren't Joe. paying attention, you Uncle little Joe. turd. Uncle Joe. What? Your bait landed right there. No, it didn't. It went way on out there. See can... that little jumping fish? That's where my bait is. I I know. I'm just no, reeling I'm... it in right here, but it, my, my rod's stuck. Hang on a second now. I, I got it. I got it. I really don't. You're using them big old fake binoculars. Can't even tell what in the world's going on out there. These youths today. Uncle Joe, I, I just don't. Don't what, son? I don't. Hang on now. I got a little itch back here. Your granddad's got dandruff. It's all right, I got some new shampoo. Have you heard of that head and shoulder shampoo? That stuff is brilliant. All right, here we go. <coughs> all right, I got one, son. You ready? <coughs> Uncle Joe, you're hooked. you're hooked to a stick. By golly, I am hooked to a stick, aren't I? Yeah. Guess we're gonna have to start the whole thing over now. Hey, I'm back. How was it? How was it? Well, did you get fish? Where's your fish? Is it like a bucket of fish? No. Where'd... So we didn't catch anything. Parker, you. You were gone for like five hours. I know. And we were fishing just about the whole time. And, you know, I thought it was gonna be a really great experience and I've always had a good time with my Uncle Joe. I love but, Uncle Joe. But this time, just wasn't, wasn't that great. So, it wasn't great because you didn't catch anything or was it like pulled well, out or? No, it was just a lot of things. But like, yes, we didn't catch anything, but like the worst part Uncle Joe just really smells. Wait, 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 what? I thought you were outside. You're you're saying Uncle Joe is stinky? Yeah, yeah, like we were outside and like he smelled so bad the whole time. I just could not get over it. I like all I could do is have this foul fish stench in my nostrils the whole time and I just I couldn't handle it. Parker, don't you just expect that when you go fishing? Like fishing is just kind of like Stinky business. Yeah, but you know now that I think about it I don't know that it was the fish that stank if you know what I mean. Oh my goodness. It was <gasps> Uncle Joe Wait, 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 wait. This is perfect because I think that there's this really awesome Bible story that goes with this Really? Yeah, um, oh, oh, but wait, wait, wait Jonathan's actually not here today. So he left everything out for us to tell the story um, I can tell the story if you're willing to help me we're telling the story. We're doing. We're gonna. We're, can, do you think you can help me? Of It'll still course. be a surprise. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I guess if if this is gonna help the situation, then I let's do it. 
Okay, I just I just want you to know that I really think that, you know, Uncle Joe is probably not the problem here. Well, let's let's get to the story. Okay, then. let's come on. go. Okay, I'm so ready for this Bible story. Are you ready, Parker? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so this story is a parable, and it is the parable of the prodigal son. Oh, I, th I think I've heard that before. Okay, so parables are what Jesus used to use. They're stories he used to tell to teach people things. Okay, are you okay. ready? Yeah. So the story of the prodigal son is actually a story about two sons, but today we're mainly going to focus on one son. Got it. And that's you, the prodigal son. Oh, main character. I love it. Okay, so the first thing the prodigal do son does in the story is he goes to his dad and he asks for his inheritance. Okay, so, but the inheritance thing, isn't that what you get like when someone like passes away? Right, so the prodigal son went to his dad and he asked this and it is not respectful. It's actually super disrespectful, but the, the dad, he gives him his half of his inheritance and the prodigal son, he's excited about it and he decides he's going to go on a big adventure. So he's okay. getting ready for his adventure yep. and you should probably like do something with all of that. Okay, I'll just do this. Is that okay? That's perfect. Okay. okay, so he's all packed up. He's ready for his adventure and you know back then when you went on trips like this there wasn't airplanes and there weren't cars so you had to walk. Start start walking. So he's walking and... Oh, what are you doing? I mean oh. they also didn't have like regular roads back then so it was probably really really dusty you're walking oh, walking so he's walking and yeah ow, ow. <laughs> so what are you doing i mean there's probably like a thunderstorm or something Gosh. right uh so he's walking he's walking and he finally gets to his destination and he's so excited he has all of this money and he decides he's gonna live it up yeah. so he uses his money to live it up oh nice Gold jacket, I love it. And he just starts spending all of the money that he has. Ooh. He's spending it left and right. Ooh. He's having a good time. And then Ooh. all of a sudden, his money, it runs out. What? So his money, it runs out and yeah. And his money's gone and he starts to get desperate. So he goes to a farmer in the area and he asks if he can help take care of the pigs. So he's taking care of the pigs and he's realizing how hungry he is and even the pig's slop looks delicious to him. Oh no, please, we don't have to do you it. You should no. probably take that hat off. Oh. Uh. So after the pig slop, he realizes that even his father's servants are well taken care of. They have a place to sleep and they have food to eat. And so he decides he's gonna go back home and ask his dad if he can be a servant for him. So he starts walking home and he's, you know, he's practicing his speech that he's gonna say to his dad and he's walking and it's dusty oh, and, on. and it's raining. Oh, no. And all of a sudden he can see his dad's house off in the distance. And off in the distance he sees a figure running towards him. It's running towards him and then he realizes that it's his dad. And he starts running too. He's running and his dad throws his arms open and gives him the biggest hug. No, no. The dad, you give the dad the biggest hug. Good, and so he gives his dad the biggest hug and his dad is so excited that his prodigal son is finally home. He has a huge celebration to celebrate the fact that he's there and he's safe. Okay, can I uh... Yeah, please go take care of that. Thanks, Parker. So the whole goal of this story today is to remember that we wanna be like the prodigal son's dad. We wanna love others no matter what. The prodigal son's dad welcomed his son home with open arms. He was stinky and he was smelly and he was dusty from his ride walk home, right? 
We need to be like that with others. When others aren't kind to us, when others are stinky or smelly, maybe like someone that we were talking about earlier, right? We need to love others no matter what. Let's remember that this week. I'm gonna pray for us and then we'll jump back to the couch. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this story of the prodigal son. Thank you for showing us how to be more like the dad in the story. You, help us to love others no matter what. In your name we pray, amen. So, that was so much fun. Well, besides the whole throwing things at me, spraying me with water and dumping pig slop on my head, it was a good story. I mean, the message w was good. Yeah, so. I think that Jonathan picked a really good one for this week. It was perfectly fitting after your trip fishing with Uncle Joe. Yeah, and you know, it, it kind of made me think of that situation and maybe, you know, I was really upset and frustrated and kind of never wanted to go fishing again after I spent a really stinky afternoon with my Uncle Joe. But maybe I should have just loved him anyway. I think that that's exactly what I was thinking about. And I also started thinking, when you go fishing, don't you have like jars of stink bait? Oh. So maybe it wasn't Uncle Joe that stank. Maybe it was the bait. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, but I would say that that's like highly, highly likely. Uh, you should maybe follow up on that. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. Whoops. Sorry, Uncle Joe. <laughs> but this whole kind of story and situation, it makes me think of a question. When have you had to love others mm, no matter what? Like, for me, it was today, just a few minutes ago when someone dumped a bunch of stuff on my head and I had to choose to love them no matter what. Okay, fair enough. I was thinking before the story that it would be about how you had to love Uncle Joe, but I guess I kind of deserve that, so. Yeah. And I mean, I could love Uncle Joe no matter what, too. I mean, he, I thought he was stinky and he talks a lot and he did call me a turd, but you know, I can love him no matter what. Yeah, talk about that with your small groups or at home, and we'll see you next time on the Sunday Funday Show. Bye, guys. Bye guys.